て、いちいち。So, happy, happy Sunday. It is pissing rain, has been pissing rain all day today in Tofino. So, it's been that kind of day.、Uh, but I am excited because I went to this wellness market. In the pouring rain, there was not many people there, but it was great to go meet people、um, in town、uh, and chat with you know, other people that are in the wellness community. Just because, as a, someone, as a life coach, and what I do, I want to get more involved in the Tofino community. And guess what? I got an invitation to be in the next wellness market,、um, which would be in Yuki, so the town over.、Um, and then the following month, it's going to be back in Tofino. So I'm really excited about that and to be able to go in. I'm not sure like, what the table, like, what I'm going to have.、Uh, I am going to talk with, chat with the organizer. There's a few ideas. Like, obviously, I'm going to bring my book. Um, maybe do like sample tarot, like, you know, like kind of like five minute tarot card readings or like a 15 minute like、um, coaching session or something. And so, so yeah, so I'm excited for that and I'm excited for the invitation. I'm excited I also like followed the breadcrumbs on that because I did see, see it on Instagram. And then I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. And then I ended up finishing、uh, what I had to do a lot earlier,、uh, which by chance I still ended up making it. And with the rain, they didn't cancel it. And so it all connected. So really excited for that. And then, other than that, tomorrow I'm moving to the next space that I am going to be living in until May 21st. I don't have anything lined up after that. Um, not gonna lie, it is making me a little nervous, and that is something、um, I've been kind of working through throughout the weekend, and something I'm just gonna continue like tapping into. I'm probably gonna do an inner child meditation later on tonight, just because it is something that is still making me a little nervous.、Um, More like,、uh, you know, like one of my fears. So, one of my fear gates in human design is the fear of the past repeating itself. And so, yeah, so it's like being able to navigate that and hold space for that. And so, that, so that's that.、Um, other than that, I found it really, really interesting. A topic that has come up with. Um, with my clients that I'm working on, and it's come up with both clients. And so I found it very interesting when I am, when I'm coaching, even though two majorly different, different people, right? Also different parts of the world. Um, and the same theme is coming up. And I thought that was really cool. And I'm sure there's many of you that can relate to this theme. And so, this is the work that I'm currently working on with both. Obviously, still tailoring、um, to each one. So, it is not, not using the same approach to it because they are still two very different people. But basically, it's a, along the lines of caring about what other people think and having. To the point that it takes away their power. So it is okay to care about what other people think, but there is a difference between like caring about what someone else thinks, caring about what people think of you as social media or in a public setting, and still being able to stand in your power and still be able to honor who you are and. Speak your truth and be authentic.、Um, and then there's a difference where you care about what other people think and it takes away your power. You hide yourself, you don't show every aspect of you, you hold yourself back.、Uh, and I'm sure there's many of you that have experienced this or are experiencing this in in moment. And so this to me is like also part of the 
work that I've done as well as to how to navigate um, that balance. And especially as a projector wanting to be seen and recognized. And sometimes that doesn't, sometimes I don't feel seen and I don't feel recognized. And I give my power away for someone else to see me and recognize me. But really, at the end of the day, I need to see myself and recognize myself first. And so that is like my experience with it. And I'm like really learning to like, yeah, I do care about what people think. I do care about what what my audience thinks. Like, yes, like when I lose followers, it does like it does affect me. I'm like, oh, you know, but I do understand that it may not necessarily be anything personal. I do understand that, you know, maybe that I don't vibrate, that people don't vibrate with my energy. And that's OK. I know I get that, um, but doesn't mean that I don't care. And but at the same time, I don't let it take take away from me. I I don't come on here showing up less than I still show up as me I still share what I want to share I still share what's on my mind I still talk about my offers I I don't hide back and so and that is something that I'm continuously continuously working on uh it's a work in progress and now it's really interesting of how it the both topics like like these topics came up with sorry the topic came up with both of my clients and so navigating and guiding them through this as well for them to shift and expand and grow in in their own way uh, around this uh, topic about caring about what other people think without having someone take away your power and so anyways, I just thought it was really interesting and I wanted to share that because it is a very powerful conversation to have and it is something to be aware of, of how do you show up? How do you show up in your business? How do you show up in your life? Like, do you, do you hide a part of you? Do you fully show? And if you fully show and there's something you don't get the response you desire how does that affect you and how how do you navigate that there's a lot of elements and so i'm going to leave you with all that uh, thanks so much for watching this was day 82 and i will speak to you tomorrow maybe show you a little glimpse of the new place depending on when i go live though because i'm not sure what time i'm gonna be um moving tomorrow it's still all up in the air. They haven't let me know when they're leaving. Uh, the owners that are, the next place where I'm staying, the owners are leaving. So um, not sure when they're leaving. But anyways, rambled on. It's okay. So have a good night. Happy Sunday.